Welcome to Let's Football Live, the podcast featuring candid conversations and inside stories from players, coaches, experts, and pretty much anyone associated with the Hero Indian Super League. On this episode, we have two new blues: Bengaluru FC's Danish Farooq and Jayesh Rani. Good afternoon, Jayesh, Danish, to both of you. Uh, so, welcome to our Twitter space. I am Suyash, and thank you so much for joining us today. Just the kind of Monday pick me up that we need. First of all, uh, how how was training in the morning, guys? Were you were you in training before this? Yeah, we were. It's very hot here. So, so both of you in Goa for pre-season training right now with the team, of course. And you're finally out of quarantine. You know, so that's 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 a good start. to to make on any kind of pre season training that one goes through so danish kaisa lag raha hai quarantine se bahar nikal ke azad panchi jaisa lag raha hai ha bahut acha lag raha hai bahut boring tha quarantine mein rehne ka obviously sabko boring hi lagta hai ha to abhi bahut acha lag raha hai at least ground ja sakte hain to aapka of course pehla experience tha quarantine mein hone se aur boring to shayad isliye bhi tha kyunki aapki photos lene ke liye koi nahi tha na jayesh jo aapka official photographer ban gaya hai तो शायद उस वजह से भी बोरिंग लग रहा था आपको हाँ हम दोनों ने कॉन्ट्रैक्ट साइन किया है ये मेरे फोटोज खींचता है और मैं इसके खींच लेता हूँ जयेश कॉन्ट्रैक्ट के टर्म्स क्या है जरा बताएंगे हमें कॉन्ट्रैक्ट का टर्म्स कुछ नहीं है सिर्फ क्रेडिट्स <laughs> क्रेडिट्स देना है क्रेडिट्स अच्छा क्रेडिट <laughs> तो और पिछली बार क्रेडिट्स क्रेडिट देना भूल गए थे दानिश तो आपने रिमाइंड करना पड़ा था उनको अरे कोई बात नहीं होते रहता है वो उसने फाइन भर दिया उसके लिए सो सो फॉर एवरीवन और चेस कीजिएगा फॉर एवरीवन लिसनिंग इन फॉर कॉन्टेक्स्ट द थिंग इज ड्यूरिंग द क्लब्स टाइम इन मॉलडीव्स ड्यूरिंग द एएफसी कप दानिश इज इंस्टाग्राम सडनली बिकेम वेरी एक्टिव अगेन जो कि पहले एकदम डोरमेंट था इट बिकेम वेरी एक्टिव एंड यू नो पिक्चर्स ऑफ हिम स्टैंडिंग एंड लुकिंग इनटू द डिस्टेंस विद द सी इन द बैकग्राउंड uh in which jayesh you have of course received credits for the pictures as well so danish ye kya jayesh ki company mein rehne ka asar hai Obviously, obviously, he sees so much active on Instagram. So I thought I should uh, post one picture. Sigara, us ko me sigara. Learning, <laughs> learning, man. I'm learning quickly. Nega, the actor guy, I have taught him. So he joined. Karna. Acha, abhi abhi matlab conversation hui thi isse pehle abhi abhi Twitter pe aane se pehle. Ah, obviously. Acha, chalo, theek hai. तो ज्यादा कॉन्वर्सेशन ना हो यही हमारी चाहे क्योंकि वी डोंट वांट दिस टू बी वेरी सैनिटाइज्ड गाइस ये हमें ना तो हमें कोई स्क्रिप्ट फॉलो करनी है ना हमें सही या गलत आंसर्स चाहिए वी जस्ट वांट यू टू बी योरसेल्फ सो वंस अगेन थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग बट जस्ट अ बिट ऑन जॉइनिंग बी नाउ गाइज वॉट डिड यू गाइज नो अबाउट ईच अदर वन बिफोर ज्वाइनिंग द क्लब एंड बिकॉज इट्स न्यू एनवायरमेंट फॉर बोथ ऑफ यू सो ऑफकोर्स इट मस्ट बी नाइस टू हैव someone to lean on who finds himself in the same situation as you right jayesh why don't you go first yeah yeah but uh, the thing is like i have seen him before but the thing was like we have we haven't played with each other yet hmm. so, like when when i was playing i league so that time they, i think that they were not in the i league and then when we started playing like there was only like, like we had a choice to play only isl i league hmm. so when we started playing I- isl they started like the real kashmir team came in right. so we didn't get a chance to play against each other or with each other but but did you yeah. have a chance to uh, observe him from a distance what, yeah, yeah, what I, did I, you I know did, I, did, I, did. I, I, i used to watch a lot of football, like i league matches before so that's how like i have seen him like he's one of the main like main mans in kashmir right right <laughs> You called the the Kashmiri Ronaldo, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. <laughs> Kashmiri Danish. Danish, what about you? Thanks, bro. Uh, what did you know of Jayesh obviously. before joining BFC? See, I have I have I have seen him playing in ISL, obviously. Mm-hmm. So I I I was watching ISL match, uh, in the past season. So I know him very mm-hmm. well. Like I haven't met him, but I know he's a very big player. He's the one who has won ISL two times, man. Mm-hmm. it's it's a an achievement so i think it's a very experienced player yeah. bas bas chada ma chada ma devi i want to, i want to learn man i want to learn from him so that's why i am saying this yeah so so you're learning instagram uh, hacks and tips and also stuff on the pitch so that's nice to know that's very nice to know did you also know danish that jayesh was called neymar when he was at chennai nfc no 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 i don't have any idea about the neymar but he, he likes to call everyone neymar but I don't know, but he is the Neymar. <laughs> Jaysh, why were you called Neymar when you were in Chennai? And could you let us know? I have no idea, man. Ah, uh, don't lie now. You, you, you know, you know. So we've been doing some research on on this aspect, and uh, curiously, there's a there's a YouTube video you've done with Jonan Arisa, 
while you were at chennai and does that ring any bells for you yeah i remember so so anyway so uh, so he had actually ended up asking you why you were called neymar yeah, and you used to call me matrazi ah is, does that have anything to do with your <laughs> resemblance to him i think i think when you smile you look a bit like neymar right i don't know i don't know he used to call me that i don't know why Mm, okay, we'll we'll let that one slide then. It's okay, it's fine. But great to see that uh, that you guys have seemed to have struck up a friendship off the pitch uh, as well. Now, as outsiders, guys, we're all very curious to know about things like how the dressing room functions and, and how it's like. So, uh, Danish, what's the BFC dressing room like so far? Uh, what's your experience been uh, with the team? Of course, Jayesh uh, as is someone you have uh, become close to in the short sp- period of time that you've been together. But what about uh, the other players and how's the dressing room? Yeah, the dressing room is uh, very nice. Like everyone is encouraging. So the wise words, you know, from the Sunil by uh, every senior player. So I think it's very good, and I feel very, uh, very proud to play in this club. I was very happy when I joined this club. So I think it's a very proud moment for me playing for this club. Uh, and Jesh. uh what about you what's what's been your observation of the bfc dressing room so far i think it's fun like all the players most of the players in our team are very like young you can say and like very energetic so it's it's fun being around them and i know most of the players like so hmm. we have a big group here me pratik parag everyone so it's fun it's fun in the dressing room and also chetri bhai and everyone they help us a lot with Like with the training, if we are doing anything wrong, we'll help us with everything. So it's yeah, it's good. It's good, and we get to learn also every many things. Yeah. Uh, also, Lara Sharma is is listening in on this conversation. Uh, uh, one of the many talented goalkeepers at BFC. Uh, so, uh, Lara, shout out to you. Uh, we have two of your teammates over here uh, right now. If at any point of time you want to jump into the conversation, please, please let us know. We'll be more than happy to bring you in. So, since since uh, you mentioned. Uh, Chetri Bhai Jayesh. Many players have had a very interesting story of their first encounter with Sunil Chetri. I want to ask you before joining BFC, uh, you might have of course played against him on the pitch, but did you ever have a chance to get to know him in a personal capacity before this, Jayesh? Uh, before when, uh, like during the off season, we used to play some like seven aside games when he used to come ah. in Mumbai for the like the shoot or something. So everyone we used to play against them. Right. Right. Okay. So, so of course, then you then you know what it's like uh, to be around him. But Danish, what about you? Up, Millet has never been like captain, leader, legend. No, 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 no. I have never seen him before, like uh, sitting beside him. I have never. So I was very nervous. Mm-hmm. I will tell you honestly. Mm-hmm. Before, like when he come for the first training session, I was very nervous. Like the captain is here, so you know it's it's a very uh, proud moment. Like. you are playing uh, with the leader the captain the legend of the country so i think abhi tak to main nahi mila tha lekin abhi bahut abhi to roz roz mil raha hu unse practice kar raha hu to bahut kuch seekhne ko milta hai unse aur ab kabhi kabhi agar kuch galat hota hai to guide bhi kar lete wo is jagah pe aapko aise karna hai to i think that's very helpful for everyone to abhi tak who's been the better teacher for you sunil chetri or jayesh rane देखो यही होती है ना सच्ची दोस्ती यही होती है एक दूसरे के बारे में तारीफ करना बहुत जरूरी है यू नो इंटरेस्टिंगली ऑन दिस लेट्स फुटबॉल लाइव ट्विटर स्पेस वेन वी हैड रेनियर फर्नाडेज ऑफ मुंबई सिटी एफ सी अर्लियर ही हैड समथिंग वेरी हिलेरियस अबाउट हाउ वेन ही मेट सुनील छेत्री फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम ऑन नेशनल टीम ड्यूटी द फूड दैट वॉज ऑन हिस्स प्ले इट वॉज हैवली क्रिटिक you know uh, so and and the fact that both of you are laughing about this tells me that there is something going on over there also with you guys so do you, do you guys receive any dietary tips from him yeah we do sometimes yes we do and do you follow them uh, sometimes <laughs> <laughs> no he's not listening in so you can you can be honest with us <laughs> but he will post it no so what if we listen later it's uh, <laughs> but no, uh, no, no we we do follow a good diet but sometimes cheat meal is good Yeah, yeah. No, you you need uh, you need a bit of blow a bit of steam off the pitch, and in terms of yeah, your correct. dietary choices, sometimes it's important as well. I can imagine as players. Uh, of course, last night uh, uh, he scored uh, the goal that uh, helped the Indian national team beat Nepal in the SAF Championship. So uh, comes clutch whenever he's needed. 
you you also met neeraj chopra didn't you danish did yes yes only, only I, danish I did. did jayesh you didn't no 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 we we came late for training that's why and See? danish and everyone they went before to gallery so that's why they got a chance to meet So Danish, what what did you guys speak uh, about? Uh, we were very curious to to see uh, and know what the pictures were all about. Yes, yes. Nobody wants to miss a chance to meet uh, the golden boy. Uh, he was there, so how come we haven't met him? So we asked our manager that we want to at least uh, meet him and click a photo mm-hmm. with him. So then, obviously, he came. He's a very humble guy, man. He uh, talked with us and. then we clicked photo with him and then uh, we saw the gold medal also yeah. so we were very happy very very much happy and we met uh, shrijesh also oh right correct the correct. indian hockey team goalkeeper so we were very happy that day that we have met the olympic champions to aapki baat kya hui un dono se hame thoda bataiye zyada baat nahi hui kyunki sabhi aapko pata hai wo gold medal olympics gold medal hai to सभी उनको बुला रहे थे फोटो के लिए फोटो खींचने के लिए तो उनसे बात हुई यही कि आपने पूरा प्राउड फील कराया सबको तो उनने भी बहुत अच्छे से बात की कि आप फुटबॉल खेलते हो बहुत अच्छे अच्छे से खेलना भी बेस्ट ऑफ लक तो बहुत अच्छा लगा उनसे चलो बढ़िया है और क्योंकि आप बैलरी में ट्रेन कर रहे थे बेंगलुरु एफ के साथ तो आपको ये मौका मिला इन दो शख्स से मिलने का तो ऑफकोर्स we were uh-huh. we were living uh, vicariously through you and with a little bit of jealousy also you know wo to ho jata hai kabhi kabhi ke liye yaar aisa mauka sabko milta nahi hai but uh, danish main uh, ek minute ke liye wapas aapko apne real kashmir fc ke dino ke pass le jana chahta hu now in early 2020 before the pandemic i was on commentary for a few of the real kashmir fc nagar and honestly yeah. seeing the kind of constant support you got from the stands jo aapko milta tha it was so heartwarming to see because you're one of their own and you have an emotional connect with real kashmir fc now you're part of bfc again a fantastic club with a great set of fans but take us through your decision making process for the same it must have been hard to to leave all that behind right what was what was going through your mind yes uh, i think it was very hard decision for me i was uh, obviously i was very emotionally contact with uh, the real kashmir real kashmir uh, gave me the platform to show my talent so i think i have been there from the starting uh, uh, from the very first tournament they played so mm-hmm. i think i am very emotionally uh, connected with the real kashmir but i think then i wanted to grow as a player then this opportunity came so i was very happy and i asked them that i want to go that uh, it's a good opportunity for me like they were also happy uh, for me that i am joining the bangalore fc bfc i am joining so it's it's a very big club one of the biggest club in our country so i think they were also very happy for me that i am joining this this club right right and uh... Do you remember what you were doing or where you were when the first contact was made by Bangalore FC? Can you do you remember that moment? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Like I was uh, in a bus, I think. Uh, वो टाइम पे मैच खत्म अली का मैच खेल के जा रहा था तो ट्रैवल होटल वहाँ पे जा रहे थे तो दैट टाइम मूसा सर कॉन्टेक्टेड मी तो ही टोल्ड मी अबाउट दिस So, so great. Uh, now that you mention him, uh, we also have uh, Noshad Musa listening into the conversation. So, sir, uh, we have invited you to speak and come up to the panel. So, if you do uh, feel like it, please feel free to join and uh, share a few stories of of how uh, how your uh, scouting went initially when you wanted to sign Danish uh, or Jaysh. Uh, Jaysh, you mentioned in one of your interviews that, uh, in fact, Noshad Musa was one of the biggest reasons behind you joining Bangalore FC, right? Yeah, yeah, correct. So, zara, hume unki experiences apke saath jo hai, unke baare mein zara bataiye. How how is it? Since when have you known him, and how, how do you uh, look back at your time with him? Like I have known him since like long time now. Like, jab uh, under nineteen mein the, tabhi hamare coach the na. So, tab se main janta hu like and. Hmm. We are in touch from then, so अभी भी मतलब जन जब भी मतलब बेंगलुरु ऑफर किया था तो उन्होंने मतलब पहले ये किया था मुझे बात किया था तो मैं ज्वाइन किया था यहाँ पे क्योंकि मूसा सर है बिकॉज देर इज समन आई नो लाइक वुड हेल्प मी लाइक ही नोज मी एज अ प्लेयर सो राइट मेन रीजन आई ज्वाइन दिया ठीक है तो आपने बोल दिया मूसा सर है तो वो अब आ भी चुके हैं यहाँ पे सो मूसा सर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर फॉर ज्वाइनिंग 
if you could if you could tell us uh, what you saw in both jayesh and danish which prompted you to kind of lead the charge to sign them for your club uh hi hi everyone danish uh, uh, i remember uh, two years back when roka was there i had got him for the reserve squad right okay uh, Yeah. Came back, uh, but uh, somewhere he was homesick, <laughs> and he, he he didn't sign and he left. So till the from that time, I've been uh, looking at his uh, performance. I've been tracking him. Hmm. You know, and he was doing really well with Real Kashmir. Yeah. And then, uh, as far as Jayesh is concerned, he was like with me with the under nineteen team in Mumbai, Mumbai FC. Right. So I know his potential and what Marco was looking for. So like me, Mandar, Marco also felt that he is he is the uh, he is the best option for us to play in the midfield position. Right, right. So the fact that both Jayesh and Danish are such versatile players, uh, you had versatile players playing for BFC before as well, Musa sir. Uh, you had Harmanjot Khabra last season. who yeah. uh, who has now moved on and is going to be playing for kerala blasters in the upcoming season but somewhere along the line did you feel that you needed the kind of player to to sort of replace uh, the versatility that harmanjot khabra had shown and do you see that in both jayesh and danish uh, of course of course we see that you know uh, see the thing is i really don't want to discuss much about Uh, see we're just we're just greedy you know we try to get as much as we can out of, out of everyone so and and we have to be careful <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just that uh, we were looking for players who can play in all positions you know right. we have we have up front we have sunil we have udanta and then we we were thinking about having a good number 6 number 8 number 10 so danish jayesh and all fit in well right so right. that works and and we have to look for players availability also because we were not getting enough uh because most of the players had good contract other, other with other clubs so for us this was the best options for us right and uh, it 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 would uh, be a miss uh, musa bhai to not mention uh, the excellent run that the young bengaluru fc team had uh, recently or uh, reaching the final uh, of the durin cup uh, and and of course unfortunately missing out against fc goa in the penalty so uh, a big kudos and congratulations for that uh, achievement as well i'm sure uh, i'm sure jayesh and danish uh, observing the team play from a distance were you inspired by the performance of the bfc youngsters yes yes we were watching we watched every match and we were cheering for them in every match we were very happy uh, everyone they everyone very good performance of this थोड़ा फोमो हुआ था फेयर ऑफ मिसिंग आउट हुआ था खेलना तो था पर अभी क्या करेंगे बहुत हुआ था बहुत हुआ था अच्छा सो आर यू जस्ट सेइंग दैट राइट नाउ बिकॉज़ मूसा भाई इज लिसनिंग नहीं नहीं हम लोग तो बोला भी था सर को कि खेलाओ ऑलरेडी बोल दिया था हमने लेकिन अच्छा वी नीडेड वी नीडेड प्लेयर्स हियर फॉर ट्रेनिंग सो ऑफ कोर्स एंड या एंड दे हैव बीन प्लेइंग एएफसी एंड आल्सो वी वांटेड टू गिव मोर अपॉर्चुनिटी टू द पी टीम बॉयज यू नो the rest who didn't get enough uh, playing time so right. that was the idea for duran cup there yeah. was thing that we have to go win the tournament it was just let's go play good football and boys did much more than my expectation nah, no uh, we were uh, we were all uh, we were all sort of you know uh, observing from a close distance and and seeing the performance and uh, one would uh, of course you would hope that uh, the, the senior team can also now take the form that uh, the youngsters showed and and go into the ISL uh, right of course yes yes obviously we so, have to <laughs> yeah yeah Spe- speaking of which uh, musa bhai while you're here and while we're on the on the topic of greed uh, if i could just ask you another question about uh, what were the learnings of the the bengaluru fc side from last season and what do you want to do personally differently as a team with new signings like jayesh rani and danish farooq of course joining the ranks uh, what approach do you want to take differently this season see uh, right now right now uh, marco uh, he is doing a great job with the boys you know uh, the way he wants to play the way uh, if you if you see the way we played in dura cup you know you see more of this style uh, pressing football from where we we sit back and then we we suffered so we stick to his philosophy and we try we try to play uh, good football uh, it takes time it takes time for any coach who comes in you know 
takes time for the players to adopt to the situation. Yeah, it was it was good that he came early and we got the JFC Cup and now the Duran Cup. That will that will really help us this season. You know, now the new foreigners have come. Of course, uh, uh, we'll need some time. You know, yeah. and then in Goa we might we might have to play some practice games and that should that should really help us. Yeah, absolutely. And and because Musa Bhai, you mentioned the AFC Cup, uh, I also want to now ask Jesh about. Uh, his first start for the club as well as the first goal that he scored for bengaluru fc against club eagles uh, and jesh first goals are always special right uh, but always, always all the goals yeah. are special but first is like more special and and what a way to score your first goal you know on the bounce first time from the edge of the box so can you just tell us a bit about that first goal did at what point of time did you feel like i have to hit this first time i don't i just saw the ball i just went for it and it went in bus <laughs> goal <laughs> chala gaya bas andar Sim- simple as that simple as that opportunity huh? i jumped in and i scored bas uh danish you had a you had a good view of that goal as well right yes yes i was watching obviously so i was very happy because uh, he was my room partner also so i was very happy <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah he scored the first goal <laughs> ah okay okay that that's nice to know uh, and danish even your performances in the afc cup uh, were were extremely mature if i could say that showed a maturity that uh, that is very important especially as a new player when you are when you're taking to the pitch for a new team you have to really stamp your authority and you did that uh, you seem to be very very comfortable in the position uh, musa bhai what did you make of danish's uh, performances so far see if you if you see uh, the way real kashmir plays and the way we want to play it's it's a bit different uh, he was he was uh, having some problem in the beginning but after one or two games he got is uh, getting used to the way we play you know because if you if danish will agree with me the way uh, yes, the way real kashmir plays is more long ball to the striker then that's how and danish with the speed that the coach was using him a lot you know but, right. uh, but now danish was more on the wing and now he's given the responsibility to be in the center so for sure yeah. it it takes time it takes time even for the players to adjust and to playing for a club like bfc you know the pressure is always there yeah uh, and, and we as coaches we understand that so we also need to give time to the players and for sure uh, danish uh, what i feel is very hard working you know and strong lad so this i shall <laughs> you you'll see some good performance from all or most of the players most of the players yeah yeah musa bhai danish is bar home sickness to nahi ho rahi nahi home sickness to bilkul nahi hai i am enjoying my stay are khayal rakh raha hu na uska main banana bhag gaya tha do saal pehle bhag gaya tha then his coach then his coach told me are musa bhai wo aise hai wo kashmir wale hai na wo ghar yaad aati hai mausam <laughs> and roka roka did believe me when i told him he's indian because roka thought i got some foreigner <laughs> <laughs> uh, understand but but danish it's, it's great that you've uh, adjusted uh, this time around and and you know we're all looking forward to seeing uh, your performances did it feel like a jump in level when you made your debut for the club in the afc cup did you feel like uh, you know it it was a different level as, as compared to what you'd been playing at before yes yes Obviously, it's a very different level here playing in AFC, and before I, where I was playing, and I feel it's itself an achievement for me to play in AFC Cup and for playing for the BFC. So I, I'm very happy to be here, and now no home sickness. Like I want more players coming from Kashmir. I want to be the new face. Yeah. Like you, Kashmiri players can also play in ISL. So that thing I have kept in my mind. So I want to work hard and. play for the for everyone back in kashmir and uh, giving something to the people there and players uh, like they also can come and uh, join uh, any uh, any club outside kashmir yeah uh, i mean you follow in a, in a, in in the line of uh, ishfaq ahmed who's now assistant coach at kerala blasters Uh, you've also had Mehrajuddin Wadu, both players from Kashmir who have played in the uh, in the ISL before. So, uh, so you are the latest uh, in the line of Kashmiri players, Danish, and uh, you do have a lot to live up to, which I'm which I'm sure you will do going forward uh, yeah, uh, yeah. in the ISL yeah. and and going forward as well. Uh, 
but just on the topic of coaches uh, before that we also have raman vijayan listening to us and joining in of course raman uh, raman sir has uh, has sort of also molded a lot of young stars and and young talent one of whom is actually playing uh, for bengaluru fc uh, shiva sakti who made his who made his debut for the club uh, earlier on so uh, raman sir we've also Uh, sent you an invite to speak uh, if you do want to come up and speak at any point of time please feel free to do so uh, so while we're on that jesh you've played under coaches like marco materazzi i'm just going to rat- rattle off a few names now materazzi steve coppel teddy sheringham robbie keen antonio havas even khalid jamil when you won the i league title with aizwal so yeah. now with uh, marco pezzaioli what is your approach like when you start with a clean slate under a new manager are you more you know head down work hard wait for the coach to notice you or do you put yourself out there from the get go maybe have a chat with him be the first to break the ice so that he knows what you're all about what is your approach no i i don't i like i'm very i can't speak to the coach directly it's very difficult yeah. for me but <laughs> <laughs> all i can do is like show on the pitch work hard that's all that matters bus Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we also have Raman sir joining us. Raman sir, welcome uh, to this this Twitter space. Uh, uh, one of like I, like I mentioned before, Shiva Sakti has been doing extremely well uh, for the BFC youth teams, uh, and uh, and uh, you know you are credited with uh, a, a lot of of the reason for why he is the player he is. Of course, he went on to join the BFC academy after that, which also helped in his development. Uh, so, what have you made of his performances so far, sir? Hi, uh, hello to everyone. Uh, Good afternoon. Sir. uh yeah it's it's uh, everyone's dream that uh, to to play for a, a big club or country whatever uh i when i was a player uh, i was also having a, a dream of playing a big clubs and for the country uh to to produce uh, uh, players from my academy it's a, it's a big challenge for me i have to thank uh, musa for this because mm-hmm. he has spotted that uh, boy and uh, he wanted to give a space to uh, in bfc and uh, uh, it was a it was a very very challenging moment uh, for us as a coach whether uh, he will go and uh, you know uh, prove himself and uh, what uh, we have expected uh, earlier uh, but uh, for me uh, so far he's been doing well and uh, and the kamlesh also joined in bfc so and uh, swasakti uh, is a natural uh, goal scorer uh, he's been doing well uh, when he was in youth youth time and uh, to 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 go and uh, get into the professional clubs and to play with big players is a big challenge for every every instance yeah. uh, uh, i was worrying about that uh, but uh, so far uh, he's been uh, doing well and uh, recently durant also uh, he scored uh, three goals and it's, it's, it's quite happy but uh, i want uh, him to you know improve in in, in many areas like physically he need to be strong to play with uh, you know uh, foreign defenders uh, i think it's a right place for him i think bfc is the right place for him to you know develop uh, uh, as a professional i'm very happy so far i thank to musa once again for this and uh, i i looking forward uh, this season at least he should uh, come up with uh, some beautiful performance yeah absolutely uh, raman sir he is in good hands uh, make no make no doubt about that uh, he is in good hands uh, musa bhai what have you made of uh, shiva sakti's performances so far and what's your experience been of working with him see i i remember shiv sakti two years back when he played against us and i was i was uh, shocked to see see his talent you know i got to play two games <coughs> against him and he was really impressive so that's when i spoke to raman and uh, about him and kamlesh so that's how i uh, got him got both of them to bangalore fc if you if you see shiv shakti uh, you know he is one guy who's always quiet and he is someone he will give his life for raman vijay so <laughs> 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 he is one is one guy who listen to whatever raman says and uh, <laughs> now now he will listen to you <laughs> <laughs> yeah no 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 he he is he's a great talent you know uh, and the best part is he is always he is always learning you know he is shy he is shy talking to people maybe because uh, he is not able to uh, speak good english or but uh, players like sunil who who admires him a lot is sunil just asked me kahan se laya isko pakad ke 
<laughs> it was it was like that. He's he's one player who will really be a big name in Indian football. That's what I feel. Uh, he he of course he uh, Marco has seen him. Marco likes him. Marco was uh, really interested in him. And the club and Raman knows how how much we struggle to sign him. <laughs> it's just that he needs he needs those playing time. Uh, whenever he gets, and I'm sure uh, he will give you goals. That's that's what we believe in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and he, he he's he's a very he's a very disciplined guy, you know. And he's always grounded. He's never you know he scores. He's normal. You know, he'll just give that smile, and that's it. So that will make him a big player. Right. We we personally cannot uh, wait to see the link up potential link up between maybe uh, Jayesh Rane, Danish Farooq, and. Uh, Siva Sakti on the pitch together, uh, and uh, just just coming back to you, Jayesh and Danish. Now, आप दोनों के बीच में भी इतनी similarities हैं. You know, from pitch side, if anyone from the coaching staff shouts either of your names, whether it's Danish or Jayesh, you see how similar they they, they sound. You know, so there's a big possibility of confusion because they're so so similar. Uh, to your both new signings for Bengaluru FC. Musa bhai have you come up with uh, nicknames yet for the two to be able to distinguish between both of them on the pitch no no not not really it's, it's danish and jayesh only <laughs> no no it's that's not jayesh yaresh it's yaresh yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> marco marco calls him yaresh <laughs> because <laughs> because uh, for for the for the dutch and all uh, it it's uh, like uh, We we say Jos J O S C. We say Jos. They say Jose. Jose. So, yeah. Like Jayesh, it's uh, Jayesh. 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 <laughs> Jayesh. What is this Danish re mare joke on Instagram now? Now that you are here, you might as well let us know. Ye inside joke ko zara outside le jaiye aur hame bhi bataiye. What is joke? Ne, it's like go on this thing. No, you say mare like that. Ah. We always call each other like Jayesh re mare, Danish re mare, like that. He 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 was was the first one who called me Danish Re Mare. Then again, again he was calling. Then I also you get used to it. Jayesh Re Mare. <laughs> right, right, right. No, absolutely. Looking forward to see this chemistry on the pitch as well. The what you seem to have cultivated off of it. Uh, just wrapping up, guys. Finally, of course, it's been great to have you guys so far on this session. Lastly, both of you, I want to ask, what are your Personal aims for the season going forward. I know that as a team, you would want to do the best you can and and put your best foot forward and hope for a season different from last time around. But Jayesh, if I can start with you, you've won the ISL twice already. You've also won the I League, uh, and I'm sure the aim would be to to have a better season this time around and perhaps even outright win the trophy with Bengaluru FC. But what are your personal goals this season? Is there is there a number that you've set for yourself? There's no number, as in I can say, but I just want to do well. I just want to work hard and give my best for the team. That's it. Like goals will come if I work hard. Right, right. And what about you, Danish? Yeah, which like no, I have no target in mind. Like how many goals I'm going to score. But that's one thing I kept in my mind. Whenever I'm going uh, inside the field, I'll give my hundred percent every time. So I think this season, let us see. I I hope that will everyone will play good and will get the trophy. I really hope that Jayesh will get his third one. I will get my <laughs> first one. <laughs> so I'm really excited. Uh, uh, like this is my first season in ISL also. So yeah, I had to give my best. Absolutely, and uh, that's what we will. Uh, Of course, uh, we as as observers and and the Bengaluru fans, of course, as fans, will be hoping for as well. Yeah. Uh, we 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 were also expecting the West Block Blues to to join in over here, and I am just scouring the listeners over here to see if we uh, we can we can kind of get them in. Uh, so West Block Blues, if you can hear this, if you could just send a request to be on the conversation, and we'll take a couple of uh, fan questions before before you leave. Uh, Otherwise, if not, we can always facilitate something like this at some other point of time as well. Uh, and uh, and while we wait for that to happen for a couple of minutes, guys, uh, I also just wanted to ask you about. Of course, we've spoken about your overall experience of being with Bengaluru FC so far, but have you gotten used to the Goa weather yet? Is it is it uh, is it something that and particularly you, Danish, because I'm sure you're not used to the humidity that you witness in Goa so far. He's already become red. <laughs> My tan, my tan, you know, man. It's already become red. 
and uh, jayesh and danish uh, next time uh, we do this please uh, come up with re- relevant nicknames for both of you so that there's no confusion during the season or or off the of it confusion. as well like our fitness trainer he does the same ah, he calls okay. me danish he calls him jayesh <laughs> always so see it's good to know that uh, that we're not the only ones facing the confusion so far you know <laughs> but anyway Thank you so much to everyone listening in as well. Uh, I hope that your Monday became a little better and the Monday blues, uh, pun intended, <laughs> were also good for a week. And uh, best of luck to everyone. Musa Bhai, Jayesh and Danish for the season ahead with Bengaluru FC. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.